New York City Mayor Eric Adams today is saying that his team always follows the law, and so he urges his team to continue doing so. His comments come as the FBI is investigating if the mayor's 2021 campaign co-conspired with the Turkish government to receive illegal donations. Federal agents seized several of Adams' devices earlier this month and searched the home of his top campaign fundraiser. Adams also says he and his staff are cooperating with investigators. I know what I tell my team all the time. Follow <coughs> the law. I know that. And matter of fact, I tell the team to the point that, you know, I, I, I'm almost annoying. And, you know, we are very clear on that. You know, we don't, we don't do uh, the uh, straw donors. And a lot of people don't know what that means. Uh, but we don't do the straw donors. Uh, uh, we don't, uh, you know, do quid pro quo. We follow the law. Federal prosecutors are also reportedly looking into whether Adams pressured New York's fire department to sign off on Manhattan Turkish consulate, despite some safety concerns that existed there. CBS News national correspondent Errol Barnett joins us now. Errol, what did Mayor Adams say about the FBI seizure of his own devices? Hey there, Lilia. Great to see you. Well, I was inside uh, City Hall, which you see behind me, as that press conference was underway. And as you saw in that soundbite, the mayor is being quite clear that from his point of view, he has done nothing wrong. His staff have done nothing wrong, and they're taking the position now. And he's also pointing to his background as a uh, police officer and as someone who is really supported um, quite strongly by the NYPD, as someone who follows the law all the time. And he keeps repeating that point that he made, that he tells his staff to do so. But what was interesting at this press conference is repeatedly um, the his legal counsel, um, who is Lisa Zornberg, um, interjected to say that because there is an FBI investigation underway and because they are cooperating and have been cooperating from the beginning, um, they can't get into the details. But just so viewers are aware, it was at the beginning of this month when Mayor Adams and his team were down in Washington, D.C., they say to discuss the migrant crisis, which still envelops this city, when he then abruptly returned to New York City on the news that his campaign fundraiser, a young woman, a 25-year-old by the name of Brianna Suggs, um, was raided by the FBI and had, had, had her devices, cell phones, uh, laptops, confiscated, as well as a manila folder um, that said, Adams, uh, Mayor Adams on it. And so now there are questions now that since Friday, the mayor's own devices were obtained by the FBI. We understand it was while he was out on the street um, with his team, there are more questions about what did he know, when did he know it, and was there any impropriety when it comes to um, how he ran his campaign um, for mayor? So, Errol, um, I'm assuming that he continued following his attorney's advice and not commenting, but I understand that he was asked about helping the Turkish consulate open early in order to accommodate a visit by the Turkish president. What What is there to that? I mean, what else do you know? And did he actually respond? Well, that seems to be the thrust of these allegations and the investigation itself. To what extent did the Turkish government and groups linked with the Turkish government helped the Adams campaign when he was trying to become mayor back in 2021. And he answered that question quite specifically. You know, back in 2021, there was the UN General Assembly here in New York. Um, the Turkish consulate was being uh, opened. It hadn't yet opened yet. It wasn't fit for occupancy. And there were text messages from the mayor who was borough, sorry, borough president of Brooklyn at that time to the commissioner of the fire department here in New York asking, hey, can you have this ready for occupancy by the time uh, the UN General Assembly is here? And in the end, that was done. The mayor today said, this is what we do as public servants. We li listen to what our constituents want. He says New York has the highest Turkish population outside of a town in Pennsylvania in the United States, and that when they can, they work within government to get things done. So he didn't deny making that happen. But as far as the questions of, well, to what extent did the Turkish government help you get elected? That was going to be my question. If they called on me, they did not. They kept things very tight. Um, that is not yet clear, but the mayor is consistently saying that he's done nothing wrong. All right, Errol Barnett, thank you. You got it.